Hi everyone! So today I'll be showing you how I do my contour kung sa sarili ko or sa ibang tao, like my clients. Kasi usually I don't do the whole shebang of contouring and highlighting and bronzing. But well, most of the time hindi ako magkocontour, magbronze lang ako. But today I'll show you how you could achieve that structured look. Now, if we say kasi contouring kasi, if you contour something, you will suck something back away from you. But if you are highlighting, you are making something pop towards you. So, madali lang. Now, I'll show you how I do my contour using this one from BYS. This is their Contour Trio. I'm not sure how much I bought this, pero medyo matagal na din siya. Uh, magwa one year na siya kasi nabili ko to December last year. Sometimes use the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45 to bronze my face. Now, if you don't want a harsh bronze or contour look, kumanap ka lang ng powder na 3 to sh um, three to four shades darker than your um, skin tone skin tone or the normal powder that you are, you are using on your face next is your brushes these are the brushes that i usually use when i am contouring or highlighting um, my face or my clients i <laughs> have a an angled um, contour brush this is from elf na kuha ko lang siya sa department store tapos meron din akong another type of brush na ganun din pero ito mas malambot to um this is from Sephora the brand Sephora this was given to me by my mother pero yung ano dupe nga nun is yung elf mabibili niyo lang yun sa ano de uh, SM department store meron sila doon um also a brush that is like this um nakuha ko lang to sa isang set na nabili ko na din dati yung set na parang binibenta ng into it hindi ko lang assure kung available pa sila ngayon pero yon and also a brush like this this is a flat top kabuki brush this is from Sephora as well maganda to to blend up the contour so let's start okay kung gusto mo ng contour or bronze look na hindi over the top I suggest using a powder. Itong MAC powder ko, NC45. Um, find a powder that is 3 to 4 shades darker than the normal normal powder that you're using. Rule of thumb, paalala lang, kung saan mo inilagay yung brush mo, una mong ilalagay yung brush mo, dun yung pinaka-pigmented, dun yung pinaka-dark. So, if you are contouring, you want the darkest area dito sa bandang likod ng muka. Kasi, it's more normal. Yun yung most shadowing eh. So, dun ko siya nilalagay. Dito ko nagsisimula from top of the ear down towards the corner of the mouth. But I'm not gonna go all the way um, all the way to the corner of my mouth. I'm gonna stop right about here kung saan meron yung arch ng kilay ko. If you want this bronze look, I suggest look um, using... Sorry, all over the place now. I suggest using a big fluffy brush. Kasi ano lang siya, this bronzing kasi will add more warmth and color to your face. So, hindi lang, hindi siya as in contouring na i-sculpt niya talaga yung mukha mo. So, i-bronze lang niya. So, I just start there. And here. Okay. Makikita nyo, binigyan niya ng warmth yung mukha ko without it looking too structured. Now, you could do this kapag um, sa umaga lang, you don't want that um, structured look. Maganda mag-bronze ka lang. So, also, sa forehead, huwag kakalimutan para even siya at saka mukha siyang natural. At kung malaki ang forehead natin, magandang technique to. At something na lagi kong ginagawa is nilalagay ko din dito, banda Kasi, I am chubby, so I have a double chin. Now, if I put a dark powder right here, magmumukha lang siyang shadow. So, hindi mahahalata yung double chin ko, okay? Sorry kung lagi akong tumitingin dito sa gilid kasi andito yung, dito ko, yung ginagamit kong mirror is yung viewfinder ng camera. Okay, so now for the um, 
as in in-depth contouring na pwede mong gamitin night outs, mga ganun. So, using the BYS Trio, I'm using the contour one, the darkest one. It has a bit of an ashy tone to it. So, maganda siyang gamitin pang contour kasi it will look like a shadow talaga. Using a brush like this, sakto lang kasi siya dito sa jaws, uh, sa cheekbone ko. So, once again, starting from the corner of, um, top of the ear, down towards the corner of the mouth, pero hindi tayo bababa hanggang dito talaga. If you want a drag queen look, yun ang gagawin mo. Pero, if you want a TV ready, photo shoot ready look, magi stop ka right about where your arch is. So, yun. Kung makikita nyo, ilagyan lang niya ng shadow. Chinizel out lang niya yung mukha ko. The other side, ayan, makikita nyo, at least dito mas kita talaga kasi may araw dito eh. Blend out, make sure there are no harsh lines. Now, if you're blending your contour, you want to blend upwards, but not all the way upwards. Right about here lang. Huwag mong ibi-blend downwards yung contour mo kasi it will round out your face. So, babalik pa rin niya yung magiging effect. Imbis na i-sculpt niya yung mukha mo, mag lalo magiging bilog yung mukha mo. And, lalo na sa akin, bilog mukha ko, kailangan ko nito. So, kung makikita nyo, binigyan lang niya ng emphasis yung hollows of my, um, hollows of my cheek. Kasi, if you haven't noticed, I have more of a rounded face. Na kung naglagay ako nito, Kung hindi ako naglagay na ito, mas na-emphasize niya. As in, flat niya mukha ako. Mukhang bilog na bilog talaga. This will sculpt and shape your face. So, I don't leave it like that. Hindi ko iniiwan yung contour ko dito sa cheeks lang. So, makikita nyo, in-emphasize niya yung apples ng cheeks ko, yung cheekbone ko. Yun yung hinahanap mo pag nagko-contour ka. Now, I also do the jaw, ito, para lalong magmukhang payat. <laughs> Yan. Okay. Kikita nyo, ang bilis lang, madali lang. And then, sa temple, so nung kakalimutan, ito kasi yung temples mo, pero yung taas nun, so above your temples, ito, bandad na sa noo. If you have a large area dito, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng onti dito. Nang, lagyan mo ng contour, contour powder ng onti doon. Pero if you have a small area dito, banda dito, just leave it be. Kasi maganda siyang tignan kasi you'll have that ano eh, lifted effect. Okay. So, kabila ulit. Ganun din. Okay. Make sure to blend it all out. I use the, a big brush, yung ginamit natin pang bronze ganito lang <laughs> brush mo lang siya para mawala yung excess products tapos blend out nyo lang blend out further okay and that's it for your contour now for the blush so for the blush, meron kasing ano eh, yung trio meron siyang um, isa pa na yung color nung for the cheek, yung color pink ata na blush. But, since yung nakuha ko yung isa, I'll use this one from um, Everblena Tomato. Tapos, ilalagay ko lang to. Now, the same thing, hindi ko dadalhin all the way dito sa apples ng cheek ko yung blush. Kasi, lalo yung magmumukhang bilog yung um, mukha ko. So, I suggest the most flattering way um, to apply blush dito sa gilid ng apples. So, dito tayo nagsisimula. Then, you blend it out. Yung, i parang i-co-combine mo siya dun sa contour mo. Uh, okay. Now, for the highlight, um, hindi ako mahilig mag-shimmery highlight dahil nga oily ako. But, if I want 
um, to emphasize again yung highlight nung dito sa under eyes ko, ginagamit ko lang yung nandito sa trio, etong nasa gitna, hindi siya shimmery, so you could use this to set your under eye concealer then. Pero what I do is to blend out further the blush and the contour. Ginagamit ko to, lalo na yung edges. Maganda siyang gamitin kasi para doon. Now, if you want your contour to be precise, super as in diretsong ganon, kunin mo yung highlight powder. Any angled brush. Tapos, i-sculpt mo talaga yung contour mo na ganyan. Now, I would suggest doing that pag sa, um, tag dito. Ginagawa ko yun actually pag may events sa uh, during the night time. For daytime glam, hindi ko masyadong ginagawa. Kasi medyo harsh yung tignan, lalo na pag nasa araw ka. So, yun. So, gawin ko ganyan din sa kabila para pantay. Yan. So, i-sculpt lang niya yung contour na ginawa natin. And then, blend it out with the big brush. Now, I don't usually contour my nose, but if I will do that, gagamitin ko din ito. Or the other blush. Gamitin natin itong eye brush. Gamitin natin itong e.l.f. Using that contour shade, konti lang. As in, isang dab lang. Tapos, tap out the excess. Kasi, medyo pigmented tong ano eh. BYS. Kaya, worth it bilhin. <laughs> Lalagay ko lang siya dito. As in, hindi harsh contour to ah. Gusto ko lang i-shape. Pag gusto kong i-shape yung nose ko, lalagyan ko siya ng shadowing dito. Kasi kung hindi niya nalata, I have a flat nose. Yun lang. Hindi, ko siya, hindi ako gagamit ng super precise blending brush. Now, if you want to do that, you could do that. But, for me, I don't usually do that. So, ito, as in easy lang yung itong process na to. So, blending brush. Ay, blending brush. Um, slanted brush from e.l.f. Nilagay ko yung contour na yun dito sa gilid. Make sure hindi siya harsh tignan. So, I suggest going back yung contour, eh, yung br brush na ginamit natin for the contour sa cheeks. Blend out mo lang siya ng konti. And then, using the highlight, lagay mo siya sa gitna. Now, easy as that. And that is it, guys. So, you could you can see naman na hindi siya sobrang intense, hindi siya overbearing, hindi siya as in like sculpted out gaya ng Kim Kardashian. Pero if you wanna see a tutorial about contouring and bronzing and highlighting like Kim Kardashian, let me know. Pero yun, ano lang to, sobrang easy lang kahit beginner ka kaya mong gawin to. And plus, the products that I used are all affordable products. You can buy them at big department stores. Well, pero, pwera na lang dun sa MAC Studio Fix Powder na NC45. But you can totally skip that. Hindi mo namang kailangan gamitin all. Kaya, pwede kang bumili na itong trio na to at yung cheek color yung sa so, yung cheek color yung cheek color yung pwede mong gawing bronzer madali lang siya friends so yeah if you wanna see a more in-depth contouring and highlighting video like um the Kardashians and Jenner do their contour and highlight let me know I would totally do that tapos I'll see you next time. Actually, yun lang naman. And I hope may natutunan kayo. It's very easy and um, you could totally do this even if you are a beginner and you have no idea on how to contour and highlight. This is pretty basic lang naman. So, madali nyo lang siyang ma-absorb naman. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!